I'm Josh, this is Colin, and this is Perseverance, our floating off-grid home. Come explore with us as we sail to new places, we learn how to protect our environment, and see how we coexist with nature. We'll also make lots of friends along the way. It is Memorial Day weekend, and we have been out in this area before, but um, it definitely was not as crazy as it is now. There's tons of boats in the anchorage here at No Name, and I don't know if you can hear that boat behind me, but it's definitely a welcome to Club No Name. Fishing boat just went by. If any of you viewers We're about to get own rock one fitting. of those and drive like that near anchored boats, you need to stop. So those huge wakes are not as big a deal if they are quartering or hitting us directly behind or in front, but if they hit us from the side, I mean we roll like so badly that everything just gets knocked over. This is the calm before Club No Name starts for the day. I don't think this hose is going to spray any further than this. So why are we watering the solar panel? <laughs> Trying to clean it off. See if it'll change our performance. Apparently salt spray can leave a thin layer of, uh, well, salt. And that can decrease the panel's efficiency. So today we are rinsing our solar panel. Situated, but I was sitting on it and untied myself and looked up, stood up, and I was like 300 feet away. So. It is Tuesday morning. We are anchored in No Name Harbor still. And uh, we are taking off today to reposition the boat to Hollywood, Florida. Uh, and that is so that we can be closer to the boatyard for our haul out tomorrow morning. Uh, so I think it's going to be about 35 miles, maybe six mm -hmm. or seven hours underway today. We're going to uh, leave here, go around Cape Florida, and we'll be out in the Atlantic coming in at Port Everglades. And then we'll head south on the ICW. Got a few bridges uh, that we'll have to go through. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to anchor in South Lake tonight, we're thinking. We've had a bit of wind from the north, so hopefully it won't be too uh, messy out there. Um, it's been like north-northeast blowing today, and that might just be from the storms that have been passing by. Um, so we're hoping it's going to be a comfortable ride. It shouldn't take us too long, especially if we get a Gulfstream push. And we hope to be there, uh, I don't know, I'd like to be there in like five to seven hours. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm very crisp. Well, we didn't get very far. Uh, we're about 0.2 miles from where we were anchored, and we are anchored again uh, with uh, Cape Florida behind me here. And as you can see, some weather has built pretty rapidly. 
So we decided to uh, re-anchor while we were still in a protected harbor and uh, waited out just a couple of thunderstorms moving uh, fairly quickly and built quite rapidly. We did see one water spout. Uh, so it is now raining, so getting a nice fresh water rinse on the decks. And just as soon as these storms pass, we'll be on our way north. Eventually, the weather cleared up and we were on our way. Alright, we're going about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, I've seen 6 a few times, 18 knots of wind. I'm sure we've got some of the Gulf Stream behind us a little bit. We're at about 15 degrees. The wind's at about 60. We're going, so we're going 6 with an extremely dirty bottom. We haven't cleaned it in a while. I'm excited to see what it's like sailing after we uh, get it cleaned up. And a fresh bottom drop. We got some decent speed, but it was a little bouncy on the sail. And we got a little wet as well. Made it to Fort Lauderdale, the Port Charlotte. What is it? Port. What's the inlet? The <laughs> Port Everglades Inlet. And it's quite relaxing at the moment. There's no boats around because nobody wanted to be out. And uh, yeah, I'll let you take the. This is so flat and calm compared to what we've been rolling around in all day. It feels like we're standing on dry land right now. Well, that was a grueling seven hours to go 35 miles. But uh, we've made it in Port Everglades, and we are now just finding a spot to anchor on the side of the ICW. And uh, that way we'll be in position to get to our haul out in the morning. Definitely one of our rolliers and wetter sails. I was really nervous about this big ship catching up to us, but luckily it docked before it had to pass us. This was our first bridge opening at night, and notice how the lights on the end of the spans turn green when they're in the full open position. We rafted up with Gallivant for the night in this tight anchorage in Southlake. Rise and shine, raft and neighborhood. <laughs> it's like two boats in one. I could never settle down Too far away from my hometown With my family Once we left South Lake, it was just a short few miles to the yard. Well, we just dropped the anchor. We are currently anchored uh, just outside of the Dania Cut here. Uh, we're going to Playboy Marine 
uh, yard to get hauled out and uh, we're uh, pretty early for our crane appointments not till 9 30 it's only like 8 30 right now and uh, so we're anchored here uh, just waiting um, the marina for the yard is down this cut here and it's very tight and lots of marinas so we don't want to get too close um, and have to hold in there so we decided to hold out here uh, but we got everything cleaned off the decks so bring the paddleboard in uh, all the jerry cans everything off the deck since the boat yards uh, can get a little messy so just the less stuff we leave on deck uh, the less that we have to clean later so we're gonna be hauling out and leaving the boat for a couple weeks and uh, yeah just chilling Just let them know we were anchored, waiting for our haul out, and uh, getting stuff ready on deck. Yeah, our final so. preparations before we leave the boat. I'm trying. I was trying to eat as much of the food in the damn fridge as possible because we still have leftover stuff. And uh, doing dishes, I'm gonna rewater all these plants, and then everything's gonna sit for what two weeks. So getting it all ready to go. Hopefully, I don't have peanut butter on my face. And yeah, we've got all our fenders, paddleboard inside. So we gotta do some of those jerry cans. We gotta deal with the, uh, is it once we get into the yard, we gotta take down our whole solar panel and bring that inside because the whole bimini's gotta come down to get the stern rail off so they can replace or fix that. Yeah, I was hoping the solar panel we could like maybe prop up over here somewhere to keep it safe or yeah. maybe maybe set it here and lean against the fenders. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see what the setting on this side might be good. Yeah. Since it won't, we won't be healing in the yard. We can also move the fenders. We move the fenders over here and then put it like yeah. against that. We've got options. Yeah. It's hot in here. I'm going back up there. All right, the yard just called us and told us to head in to the well. They're ready for us, so get in a little early and get this panel off and get on our way. Yeah. Here we go. This is the haul-out well and the haul-out crane. We approach the well with no fenders down as the travel lift crew is very good at keeping a boat in position and off the walls. Boats like ours float over these slings and the slings are then raised and the entire boat is then lifted out of the water and moved on this mobile travel lift. Once our boat is moved into its designated spot, the travel lift crew then place jack stands under the boat and a couple of wood blocks under the keel. The boat will then be here, freestanding for the next couple of weeks while we get some work done. In the meantime, we're gonna go for a little sail on Gallivant and help them move their boat up to Charleston. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It really helps our channel grow. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon.